Hello and welcome to our strategy video today on a celebration center. Um, this is a great resource that we can use in our classrooms and we can even use them at home to help children celebrate things that are going on in their life um, and ways that they are able to contribute um, at home or at school. So the idea of a celebration center is to help celebrate life events, individual achievements, and contributions to the school family. Um, in the classroom, it is a way for children to honor themselves and each other for ev events they feel are important. So this is really helping kids feel like they belong at school and a sense of community and a sense of pride in what, in what we are able to accomplish. There's a couple different ways um, to, to do a celebration center. Um, and I always tell teachers, make it unique and make it fun. So a celebration center, the first one I see here, um, is very unique. And they have little cutout balloons that people can write on or they can just cut out a piece of paper and um, write something on it. Um, sometimes we have children that will bring in um, some pictures and an explanation of what happened in that. So the birth of a sibling is a really, really big life event for a family and for a kiddo. So we want to be able to celebrate that in our room and let them talk about um, this event. So they can bring this in, they can, um, give an introduction about it and talk about it with the class and then get to put that up on the celebration center. Um, sometimes they get certificates for um, different events that they are a part of, maybe, maybe an art class that they finished or maybe um, a sport that they were able to um, compete on. And so they'll bring that in and they'll get to explain that to their friends and kind of brag about themselves a little bit. And they'll put that up on the celebration center. And then the class gets to hear about everyone else and they get to feel um, this sense of community. Another way that I've seen it done is um, a little bulletin board where we um, can write these little celebrations on it. The kids talk about it, they write it down, have the teacher write it down on a little cutout that is kept right beside the bulletin board. And then when they're done explaining that to the class, they get to put it up on the board and, um, and feel that sense of pride. Um, kindness is another way that we can um, celebrate in our classroom. So when we see kiddos being really kind to other friends, we can, as teachers, pull them aside, write a little cute note. Um, I saw you being very kind to your friend on the playground. Um, when she fell down, you helped her up and, um, and helped her um, feel better. So we just really want to point out kindness. So kids are, are, are natural pleasers, and they want us to see them do these things and point them out and then they're striving to be kind to others. And that's just an environment that we really wanna celebrate. So these are two great ways that you can have a celebration in your classroom. We've also seen this done at home as well, where we get to, especially when there's other siblings, we wanna take time to celebrate each individual child. So coming up with ways to do that um, in the home can be constructive as well. Um, I hope you liked our strategy video today and find a way to make this fun and um, a way for children to feel like they are part of the community in the classroom.